I guess anything is better than nothing. Welcome back to another edition of T and Toys. This time we've got the Transformers Legacy of Velocitron Speedy 500 Collection Cosmos. This is Wave 1, first thing I picked up. I did actually pre-order this from another store, but I saw it in Smith's Toys today. And I thought, I'm getting it, I'm picking it up. I cannot miss out on this, just in case the pre-order goes wrong somehow. I originally reported this as, well, as per the leaks, which I think are deliberate from Hasbro anyway. This was going to be one per case with a bunch of characters whom are cool in their own right, but arguably out of the deluxe assortment, Cosmos was the most well-known character. And he was put down as one per box. Absolute insanity. But it looks like Hasbro have listened to any feedback that I said. No. <laughs> uh, others and people around the web have said complaining that why they're doing one Cosmos per box. So we get solid cases. That's how I've managed to pick them up. Like so. Uh, what does Cosmos come with? This is the UFO mode. There's no casters and nothing, so you don't you can't slide across anywhere, so you've got to use them to be flying around in your battles. Or, as he's designed for this sub-series, he is the bot that starts the Speedia 500 race. There's his little checkered flag there, or ends it. So you can have that on there like that, or it can be swinging around like a gun. There's also a port on the back. You can store a gun out of the way if you really want it to be out of the way. Put the flag there as well. Yeah, like so. If you want it to be there, so you can fly along trailing a flag if you wish. You're not much more to talk about the UFI mode. And you can't pop up the head like you could the original and the Generations one. This guy's made quite a big bot. I'm going to compare him with some of the other updated deluxe scale micro bots that we've had, or mini bots, sorry. Well, let's not delay. Let's get to Cosmos. Robot mode. Well, here we have Cosmos in his robot mode, and yeah, he does stand pretty darn big. I've got a sweep here next to him, so that's a quick little comparison, like so. You can see, the sweep is a Voyager model, and Cosmos is a big deluxe model. So two alien spacecraft next to each other. Articulation wise, yeah, it's all there. The hands off sort of moving like that, you can put the arms around like that, the arms go back all the way around. Legs up, legs back, nice little waist swivel, and he's got his head on a quite a cool ball joint. So you can have him displayed quite well, actually. So, all in all, a fun little figure, actually. Really exciting. Some people will probably complain about the gap here. Hey, it's where his hand goes, so that doesn't bother me. In the back, again, not too much back kibble. Sometimes that bothers some people. You can store the flag places you want to it will just stick out you know, where you want to put it you can put it on the side of the gun or you can hold the gun as if he's waving the flag and the race as well so you can do that if you want to it's probably the best way for the flag to be on cosmos but he just wouldn't have a weapon in his hand well that's him there it is a neat little transformation it was actually quite tidy i i did enjoy it it was fun so it's a good little toy in that respect. Viking mode, you're there flying with it. I, to make it a bit more fun, maybe give it should have given him some casters so he can roll across a flat surface. Oh, maybe that's just me thinking of a, the children's angle when it comes to these toys. Yeah, I do think he's turned out quite cool and it just makes me want more and for them to complete off the mini bots from years one, two and three. Well, as I said before, Let's get out the other mini bots. Well, here we have the rest of the mini vehicles from the Transformers. That, what well, those that have been through the deluxe machine. We're missing three from year one. We're missing four from year two, and we're missing three from year three. Uh, cannot wait to get the others in the deluxe scale. They are redoing a wheelie in the studio series, but I think he's even smaller than this one. This one works fine for me, although I would prefer him to be in this deluxe, this new. Minibot just deluxe scale that they've done. I can't see that happening. There's this thing, I think, I think Wheelie's like this big. He's not. And I do want to see Bumper as well. That's why I said there's four. I think he'll be a select vehicle. And I really want them, definitely want to do the other three from year one so we complete the 1984 set of figures with Swoop and Snarl also in that thought. But what do you guys think? What Minibot mini vehicle do you want next? 
from Hasbro in the Transformers. I'm voting for Powerglide and Brawn. They are my two votes that I'd like to go for next. Who do you want and what do you think of Cosmos? Are you getting him? Do you hate it? Don't forget to love, like, subscribe and see you guys and girls in the next video.